Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to crochet a rose flower. So this is the flower that we will be uh, learning today. So in my previous video, I had actually made a beanie especially, uh, for a newborn. So in that I was talking about you can accessorize it or make it more uh, prettier by adding a flower. You can use any color flower that you have. So that it is in continuation with that particular video. So for this particular tutorial, I will be using an acrylic yarn and a 3.5 mm crochet hook. So it's not necessary that you have to use a 3.5 itself. Whatever yarn that you are going to use or you have in hand, try to use the hook that is recommended for that yarn. So you can use a 5 mm crochet hook or 6 mm. Just make sure that your yarn matches the hook that you are using. So here it is 3.5 and an acrylic yarn and this is the medium sized flower a crochet rose flower that I'm going to use you can also make a smaller version of it or a much much bigger rose flower I will be telling you how you can improvise on that to make a bigger one and to make a smaller size rose flower so in this particular tutorial you would be required to know double crochets and single crochet if you are a complete beginner, I suggest that you just go through the basic stitches. I'll put the link down just to refresh it and just to know how the stitches are. Okay, now we'll start the tutorial. And for this tutorial, you'd also need a darning needle. You'll have to use a darning needle to weave in the ends and a pair of scissors. So these are the few things that you would require. Now let's start. So for this tutorial, we'll start with a slip knot. So this is how I like to do my slip knot. I'll first of all make an X like this and then I'll pull the working yarn through this particular loop. You can do the slip knot in any way that you like. This is the way I do it. Now I'll put the hook and pull it up. So I have here my slip knot ready. Now we'll start. Now here the rose flower that I'm going to make is a medium sized one. So as I mentioned, you can make a smaller size, medium size or a big size. If you are, if you want a small size rose flower, not this big, you start with 31 chain stitches. If you are going for this size, the medium size, you start with 61 chain stitches. If you are looking for a very big flower, you have to use, you will start with 91 chain stitches. Here, this is a medium size flower. So I am going to start with 61 chain stitch. So I'll just show you once how to do a chain stitch. You go left under then pull up a loop. This is my first chain stitch again. Go left down and pull up a loop. Second chain stitch like that here I am going to do a total of 61 chain stitches. So I'll just finish the 61 chain stitch and then meet you. Okay so depending on the size of the flower you want you either start with 31 61 or 91 so here i have made a 61 chain stitch so once you have your required number of chain stitch 31 61 or 91 here i have 61 after that you put five more chain stitches so i have 61 i'm going to put five more chain stitches to this so one two three four five so this was your foundation chain. Now we'll go to row 1. So for starting row 1, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the 5 chain stitches that I now made. So I'm going to skip the 5 chain stitches 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and in the 6th one that is the 61st. This was the 61 plus 5. So I'm going to skip the 5 chain stitch. And in the sixth chain from the hook, I'm going to put a double crochet. So, I'm, so for a double crochet, first of all, you have to yarn over. Now insert your hook in the sixth chain from the hook. Now draw the working yarn through the loop like this. You have three chain stitches, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the last two. This becomes my double crochet. Okay. So what I have done is I have skipped the five chain stitches. And in the sixth chain, I have put a double crochet. So this is how this looks. Now the next step is to skip two chain stitches. So one, two, I'm skipping two chain stitches. 
this is my first one this is my second one and in the third stitch i am going to put a double crochet for double crochet i am yarning over and in the third stitch i am going to put a double crochet like this okay and after that i am going to chain 3 1 2 3 next i am going to put a double crochet in the same stitch where i had put this double crochet okay in the same stitch that is this stitch i am going to put a double crochet so for double crochet yarn over and the same stitch i am going to put a double crochet you have three chain stitches yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the last two so this becomes a v stitch if you see it it becomes like this in one stitch you have two double crochet going and here you have chain three next step skip two chain stitches in the down uh, in the foundation chain one two and in the third one i'll put a double crochet for double crochet yarn over third chain stitch i'm going to put a double crochet like this once you have a double crochet you do chain three one two three next you have to put a double crochet in the same stitch okay where this double crochet has gone this stitch the same stitch i'm going to put a double crochet here where i had previously put a double crochet so two double crochet will go in one chain stitch so two double crochet and in between you have chain three this is what i'm going to repeat i'll skip two chain stitches and the third stitch i'll put a double crochet i have one double crochet here chain three one two three and same in the same stitch i'll put another double crochet like this so if you see it this is how it looks you have v stitches here sorry see these are the v stitch this is a v stitch here you have chain three and you are skipping two chain stitches in the foundation chains so here in this full one row the foundation chain i'm going to make this kind of v stitch v stitch so here you'll skip two stitches and in the third you will put double crochet chain three and the same stitch you are going to put double crochet so this pattern i'm going to repeat i'll show once again so this is one set of v that is over now we'll make another v stitch for that i'm going to skip two stitches one two and in the third i'll put a double crochet this is your double crochet then you have to make chain three one two three and in the same stitch you will make another double crochet so here same stitch i am going to make another double crochet so this is my v stitch all right next chain you have to skip two stitches and in the third stitch you have to make a double crochet chain three one two three and the same stitch you will make another double crochet so this is what we will be repeating see these are the v patterns the v stitches so we i'll repeat this v stitches throughout this particular row and then show how to go about the next one so here i have made full one row of v stitches so this is a, even if it is just like rolling up don't worry that is what we will be finally doing it so this is how my v stitches look like i have just left one more uh, i have to make one more last stitch so here i have three stitches left i'll be skipping the uh, two stitches and in the last stitch i'll again make a v so for a v as said you have to make double crochet chain three one two three and another double crochet just in case uh, when you are doing it and finally when you are doing it and when uh, you don't have three chains so if there is one any problem what you can do is uh, somewhere around the last stitches you can instead of two skipping two chain stitch you can skip one and then make a v or if you have four left you can skip three chain stitches instead of two you can skip three chain stitch and make a v so you can adjust it towards this end when you see that uh, there is either only two stitches left if there are two stitches left just remove it and somewhere here or here instead of two chain stitch you skip only one chain stitch and if you have four stitches left 
uh, instead of two chain stitches you can adjust by leaving three chain stitches okay so this is how my second row is after finishing it will coil up which is what which is quite okay which is what we are actually looking for now we we'll start with the third row for third row we will start with chain three one two three and this chain three we are going to count as a double crochet once you make a chain three you just uh, turn your work now we'll make now we'll make five double crochet in this uh, chain three that we gap that we have we are going to make five double crochet okay so I'll make five double crochet in the V stitch one two three four and five so here I have five chain stitch so here I have put five double crochet plus chain three total of I have a total of six double crochet in this stitch now in the next stitch that is this one not the V but the next stitch here I'm going to put a single crochet so here I have six double crochet and in the next stitch that is in this gap sorry see here in this gap I'm going to put a single crochet so here I'll put a single crochet now we have reached the next V stitch so in this V stitch I'm going to put six double crochet so i'll put six double crochet here so this is my one two three sorry i'll put it again one two three four five and last one six so here in the V stitch I have six double crochets here now in this gap the next gap that is here this is my next gap here I'm going to put one single crochet so here I have put a single crochet like this now I have my uh, V stitch so in this V stitch I'm going to put eight double crochet so I'll put eight double crochet in the V stitch that is there one two three four five six seven and last one more eight so this is my eight double crochet in this V stitch so I have put eight double crochet in the V stitch and in the next gap this is your V stitch and this is my next gap in the next gap I'm going to put one single crochet so this is the pattern that I'm going to follow so I'll just tell you the pattern once so in the first two V's I had put six double crochet each in the next all the remaining V stitches I'm going to put Eight double crochet so here in the third one I have put eight double crochet in the next V stitch see this is my V stitch here in the V stitches that are coming I'll be putting eight double crochets here and in the last two V stitches this is actually a V stitch and this is the second last in the last two V stitches I'm going to put ten double crochet so first two V stitches I have put six in all the remaining V stitches I'll be putting 8 and in the last two I'll be putting uh, 10 double crochets each and going from one V set to another V set you have a small gap so in the gaps I'll be putting single crochet so here I have put 8 double crochet then a single crochet in the next V that is here I'll put again 8 double crochet then single crochet this is my next V. I'll put again 8 double crochet and single crochet like that. I'll just complete 8 double crochet and single crochet. In the last two V's here I'll put 10 double crochet, one single crochet and this one. This is my last V. Here I'll put 10 double crochet. So I'll just finish making this 8 double crochet set. And when you're doing it, it is going to coil up which is completely fine. 
so here i have uh, finished making all the double crochets and in the last two i have put 10 double crochet each now i finish this off so for that i'm going to make chain one and here i'm going to cut a long tail because uh, we have to sew it in so this much long would be more than enough so i'll just cut it just leave a longer tail because we will need it so here i've cut it and this is how the final things looks like it's all coiled up which is fine now as i had mentioned i had made six double crochet each in the first two and in the last i had put 10 double crochet and all the other other remaining v stitches i had put eight double crochet each now once you get this we will start rolling this up so for roll, rolling it you start where you had put the six double crochet so you roll it like a flower so you you might have to roll it a bit tightly like this you just keep rolling it you'll get the flower shape automatically this is how so you can see that it is beginning to take the shape you see it we have got the shape of a flower if you had uh, started with 91 chain stitches you would have more petals so it will be, become a uh, it will be bigger if you had started with uh, 31 chain stitches you would have got only half of the size of it so that's why i said you, you the amount of chain stitches that you choose will determine how big the flower is so once you have rolled this up now we will stitch this so for that i'll just turn it down and then i'm going to thread this you can use a darning needle to thread the long chain that we have pulled out so here i have threaded now what you have to go, do is you have to stitch it the stitches need not be very neat it can be quite random that you have, that is you have to take it through the different layers so keep stitching everything together try to go it through all the layers that you have and the shape that you have formed so I'm just randomly doing it through the different layers I'm trying to go in a circle stitching up the different petals that are there and keeping the shape so you might have to do it a few times till you are comfortable with the stitching that you have put see if you do it this is how your flower looks like just check it if it has gone through everything if the stitches are proper and once you are done you can just weave in the remaining ends and cut it so i'll just do that and then show you so here i have weaved in the ends and this is how now the flower looks like it's a pretty beautiful rose flower i had uh, made it another pink light pink this is your dark pink so you can uh, experiment with a lot of colors i didn't use a red color because it is very difficult to see the stitches now this as i have said you can make a smaller sized one you can go for a, a very large one if you're looking for a very very big flower instead of 61 you start with 91 chain stitches and you'll have more rounds to go around it and the flower will be huge so you can experiment with the number of stitches you can use it in beanies or bags or anything that you want so this was the tutorial on how to crochet a flower if you like this video please hit the like button if you're new to this channel and you found it to be useful please consider subscribing until next time bye thank you for watching